<laughs> oh damn okay so I'm doing a little off season or off screen training guys and I'm doing the speed button and next thing you know it this manky appears and holy crap it's a shiny oh god this is the first time I'm ever finding a, a shiny uh, manky right here so hold hold on hold on hold on let me show you guys okay so uh, I'm gonna switch it up right here because I really want to capture this guy right here now okay uh, let's go with the leech life oh my god I can't believe it I can't believe it I oh shit better capture this guy right now okay alright so it's not doing much uh, okay so some of you guys are wondering what am I doing right now okay I got my toxic Batman right here well off screen I was doing a little bit of training for uh, for toxic Batman and uh, well my ghastly here that I'm gonna rename and all that stuff I called it dart smoke or something but it's whatever you it's that's beside the point I'm gonna revive this guy because yeah hold on hold on just a sec okay I, I'm, I'm right now I'm at a loss for words right now so I am going to switch out my Pokemon and uh, let's go right ahead and do this I can't believe I just found a shiny manky right here okay and just so you guys know that this is legit hold on go to cheats right here cheats list as you can see there's nothing not cheating at all guys all right let's go back so let's go right here let's try and paralyze this guy right now come on come on dar snoke or smoke there we go okay we're gonna keep on licking this guy even though he doesn't taste that good all right here we go another lick come on you gotta well you don't faint i mean freaking get paralyzed or something okay that was a critical hit and uh, you know what not going to risk it I'm going to catch this Pokemon right now it might be our new <laughs> oh my god oh my god okay so let's go right ahead and catch this guy right now oh my god okay three we got him <laughs> we got a shiny manky holy crap give it a nickname yes we're gonna give it we're gonna give it a nickname. Yes. It's gonna be Pig Hammer. Oh my god. Pig Hammer. Pig Hammer. Okay, you know what? I should probably add it. Pig Hammer. Let's see. Select. Uh, Pig Hammer. Oh wow. Doesn't even have the symbols yet. Pig Hammer. You know what? Screw it. Let's be a little extreme right now. Pig Hammer X. Transfer to the PC. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, guys. Found him right here. I'll be right back and I'll show you guys the damage. Alrighty, guys. Let's do this appropriately again. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon uh, Leaf Green walkthrough. So, like you saw in the last clip right there yes I was doing a little bit of training for some of my Pokemon because yes I want to fill up the, the, the PC and all that stuff and I went into a rock tunnel and I ran into this little guy right here yes pig hammer X oh yes wait 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 oh wait I withdrew him okay never mind yeah I was actually training my ghastly and my uh, and my uh, Zubat of course they have names giggles and uh, in uh, Toxic Batman right here. So as you can see, it is a shiny Pokemon. Holy crap. First shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Leaf Green and uh, uh, Fire Red in quite some time. My very first one that I ever caught was not during YouTube, but it was actually, you know, off screen. Uh, a shiny, uh, whatchamacallit, a shiny uh, tentacle. Yeah, I remember that. I thought it was a glitch and everything, but as you can see, it <laughs> oh man. This is freaking awesome. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed right here because it's like, who ever thought that Pig Hammer would have a shiny Pig Hammer uh, kind of cousin right there? So we're gonna test him out right here, just for one little battle right now, and then I'm gonna send Giggles straight to the BC because, uh, you know, I, I just realized we don't really need him right here. So let's go ahead and put him back down there, and let's go ahead and pick out Toxic Batman right here because we're gonna need him for a little something right here. Yes, we're going to be capturing some Snorlax. So let's go right ahead and test out our good old buddy Pig Hammer X. Alrighty, so let's get out of here. Alrighty, so what are the odds, guys? I want to know the odds. Comment down below if you guys have the math of the odds of capturing a shiny Pokemon or encountering a shiny Pokemon. And here we go. And, uh, well, here's a battle right here. 
going up against its weakly weakness a Pidgey, and here we go, Pig Hammer X. Oh yes, it's shiny. Super shiny. Anywho, um, I don't want to battle it right now. <laughs> I don't want to battle this Pidgey, so I just wanted to show you guys, uh, the, I just wanted to show you guys Pig Hammer X right here, showing that, that, wow, my first shiny Pokemon on screen, and I wanted to capture it, and I wanted to show it to you guys right here. Uh, will I keep it on my team? Maybe, maybe not, but it will be evolving pretty soon here. Uh, hopefully very very soon so I'm gonna go straight to the next clip right here guys because we got a few things that we need to do I'll be right back alrighty enough with the like you know moving around uh, transitions and all that stuff yes guys here we are in Celadon City now we're gonna be capturing our Snorlax right here and uh, I did say in the last episode I was gonna be doing a few side quests before we even get to uh, Erica the gym leader right here and uh, the best way you can actually capture a Snorlax is by having a Poke Flute, which you need to obtain from Mr. Fuji. And uh, quite a few Great Balls because, yeah, this Pokemon is a little strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and paralyze it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully it will work out for us. Don't worry, guys. If you miss up with one Snorlax, you do have another chance to capture another one, which I, I will show you a little bit later on right here. So let's go ahead and use that uh, super flute or that pokey flute right here. So let's see, where are you? All right, bring it on. Now that's a catchy too. Oh wait, probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, so talk to this guy. Want to use the pokey flute? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Who would ever thought the pokey flute would actually work? Alrighty, wake up, bastard. And of course, attacked with a grumpy rage. Alrighty, so it doesn't want it doesn't want to be woken up or anything like that. So here it is, guys. The next person going up against us is Snorlax right here, and uh, we're gonna stun spore the crud out of it because uh, that's the best way to go, right? Right? I don't know. So there you are. You're paralyzed. Hopefully it doesn't use rest or anything. And uh, yes, it has that headbutt attack, which we should be worried about. So I'm gonna be switching it up right here to the Thrasher. Hopefully it helps us out a little. Oh crud. Okay, so your HP is full, so let's go right ahead and start beating the crud out of it. Hopefully this doesn't make it faint. And there we go, it took a nice chunk, and you are paralyzed, you a-hole Pokemon. So let's go ahead with one more Brick Break right here, and there we go. Okay, so we're, we're, we're getting there. And uh, wow, critical hit. This Pokemon is super strong, so let's go right ahead and try and capture it right now. So I, I bought myself a lot of Great Balls right here, so hopefully it will help us out right now. One. Ah, you asshole. Okay. Can't move, you asshole Pokemon. So here we go again with another Great Ball. Let's go. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. God dang it. Why would you stay in the ball? And, uh, of course, it does have moves to actually prevent any kind of like a uh, wrongdoing when you're when you're when it's asleep or something like that stay in there stay in there damn it okay okay so I don't know why you're using snore right here so let's go right ahead throw into the great ball or we might have to hit it one more time we might damn it okay and there goes Thrasher just two moves Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch back to Sir Razor right here. All right, Sir Razor. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, I gotta use Acid. Hopefully it does work. Stay in there. Yes, okay. So you are weakened by a lot. So here we go, a great ball. Let's get this. Stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the freaking ball! Yes! That is how you capture a Snorlax right there, guys. I thought I was going to have to go through the next one to actually try and capture this guy. So here we go, going into the data right here. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. 6'11", 1,014 pounds. Very lazy, just eats and sleeps. As its uh, rotund bulk builds, it becomes steadily more slothful. Okay, all right. And yes, we are going to give it a nickname because remember, we did capture this Pokemon at one point. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna give it the, the name Tank. Hmm. Or Sir Tank. Eh, you know what? Tank is good. 
So, welcome back to the team right here, Tank. How you doing? How you doing? Tank right here is a very, very good Pokemon. Normal type Pokemon. It also has the Chesto Berry to waken it up after it uses his rest technique right here. And uh, as you can see, very, very strong Pokemon. Its attack is through the roof. Speed is a little slow right here, but it's special defense. Very, very, very good. So, it is a good Pokemon to actually have on your team. Right now, for me, I kind of... Yeah, I kind of want to use him, and I kind of don't because, I mean, it is a very good Pokemon, but I'm going to have to save that for a little bit later. So, now, we're going to go back to Lavender Town and all the way back down to get the next Snorlax, so stay with me right here, guys. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so we're here we are back in Lavender Town, and, uh, yes, I actually, I'm actually going to be using Tank for this episode right here. Um, I did teach him two new moves. One that was very logical to use, and the other one, eh, just because for the hell of it. Um, yeah, so I went to the Celadon City department store, and there was a guy there that could teach your Pokemon counter. And since, you know, tank is a little slow, it will get hit first quite a few times. So there it is, I taught it counter, and uh, look at that. Yeah, secret power right there too. So, you know what? It's good, it's good, it's all fine and dandy. Now we're just going to be going down to Route 12, because that's exactly where the Nyx, uh... The next Snorlax is at, but that is not our goal. We're going to be finishing off at uh, an area right here with an item that we desperately need because, you know, I have a certain Pokemon in mind that I want to use and all that stuff. So let's move on right here. Let's go downstairs to Route 12. There it is. Is there anything right here? Yeah, we can fish right here, guys, but the only thing we're going to be getting is uh, Magikarp with the old rod. So as you can see, Route 12 north to Lav Lavender Town. And, uh,. Here we are in the some area right here. There's a lookout, or yeah, the lookout upstairs. The view is magnificent. Okay, so let's go ahead up into this lookout right here. And if you go ahead and talk to this girl right here, she's like, my Pokemon's ashes are stored in the Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. And we get ourselves the TM27, which is Return. And it is a very, very powerful move if your Pokemon loves you. Yeah, it works hardest. So let's go ahead and take a look at these... Uh, binoculars right here and it's the Pokemon Tower and then here's another one there's a man fishing okay so that's not really that's not not too bad or whatever okay so enough of that let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon trainers because we need to get to level 30 on some Pokemon right here so I'm gonna be switching out Aaliyah and Sir Razor I'm gonna just you know moving along aside we're gonna try and get to level 30 on each one of these guys uh, yeah, this one right here, why did it do that? Okay, so everybody is gonna get a turn right here, and, uh, hopefully, hopefully, we get to level 30 at some point. So here we go, first trainer, yeah, I got a bite here. Okay. Let's see what you got. So here we go, Fisherman Ned would like to battle, and he's coming with his Goldeen. Okay. Let's see what we got right here, uh, Shockwave. I'm not gonna waste a lot of lot of time here with these guys. I'm just going to destroy them all with Shockwave and Thunderbolt. Don't forget Thunderbolt. And uh, yeah buddy, look at that. Getting experience points off the butt. And he's going to be coming out with another, or with a Poliwag. So, let's go with Thunderbolt right here. Alrighty. As you can see, bam, Poliwag had no chance whatsoever. Oh yes. And uh, who is next? Goldeen wants the battle right here, so let's go bring on Goldeen. I'm going to go back to the Shockwave right here. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy right here. That's right. Okay. And uh, there goes Fisherman Ned. He felt he got his ass kicked by a small fry, which is also good. Okay, so now there's an item right there on the shore, and we won't be able to get that until after we get the surf technique, and that won't be for a while. I just got a text message right here. Holy crud. And, uh, be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. It really is, guys. I mean, I actually, I actually fish quite a few times. So here we go. Fisherman Ship would like to battle, and he's coming with his tentacool. Not so cool right now, but here we go. Aaliyah. Thunderbolt. Oh, yes. That's right, guys. That is right. And uh, Tentacle somehow survives that. Crud! Why must you annoy me, Tentacle? I used Thunderbolt. You know, I used it just to, just just for this specific reason. 
this a specific reason and you 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 screw me over. It really annoys me. And there you go, Aaliyah gets the level 28. Awesome. And uh, well, he's gonna come out with another Golding. So let's go right ahead and continue on with the onslaught of Aaliyah. Here we go on Shockwave. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Simple as that. Simple as that, and uh, there is no more. Okay, alrighty, so my Pokemon are doing well. Level 28 is pretty good. And uh, let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go with Sir Razor right here. It needs a little bit of living right here too. So let's see, right here, right there. This guy might have a another water Pokemon here and there. So here we go. Going up against uh, Fisherman, what's his name? Hank. Hank Hill! Propane and propane accessories. And he's got himself a level 27 Goldeen. So I'm going to go with this Bullet Seed. Of course, Flail. You gotta love Flail right now, right? So there we go. That's one. Come on, Sir Razor. You can do this. There's two. Come on. Give it four. Give it four. That's right. You see, my Pokemon love me. They do. They really, really love me. And uh, there you go. Goldeen gets its butt kicked. And no more. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm picking the right Pokemon right now. Alright, so let's go right ahead and move on forward right here. We have another trainer. And this guy right here is like, I love fishing. Don't get me wrong! But I'd be best if I also had more work. Oh, well, I, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So here we go. Fisherman Alien Iliad wants the battle, and he's coming with his Poliwag. And, uh, well, let's go get double slapped first because, you know, it's always nice to get double slapped. Alright, here we go. Bullet Seed, let's get this. Alrighty. Look at that. Bullet Seed. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna Bullet Seed everybody I see right here. I probably should. Maybe I should. Okay, so that's more experience points right there. He's coming out with a shelter. Let's go right ahead and uh, destroy this shelter right here. I hope it's not a nice type. Is it a nice type right here? Yes, no, it's not. It should be strong, but it is what it is. So as you can see, Shelter's getting his butt kicked, and Sir Razor, yes sir, Rebob, getting more experience points. Coming out with another Golding. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's go ahead and use this. Okay, another Bullet Seed. That's right. It's multiple attacks, but it's okay. And uh, that was a good critical one. Two hits. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And uh, no more ra or no more Goldeen right there. And say hello to level 28, which is also good. And uh, let's go right ahead and go with another Bullet Seed. Hopefully this does it. Come on. Finish it off. Finish it off. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, all right, look at that. Sir Razor, kicking butt. Taking names, even though earlier earlier today got his ass kicked by a tank. Okay, so let's see. We got a double training, uh, a double team battle right here. So what a better time to use a tank than this one right here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and switch it out with Godzilla right here because uh, we, need, we need all the help that we can get right there. And wow, we are that close to uh, Snorlax right here. So let's go ahead and talk to these guys. If I win, I'm going to propose to Gia. Okay, so what happens if you lose? She'll probably say no. I don't even know. I really don't know. So, here we go. Couple of Gia and Jess wants the battle. And they're coming out with both the Nidoran male and female. While I'm coming out with Tank and Godzilla. So, I'm going to go with Keanu right here. Because I know I'm going to get hit first. And let's go with the Seismic Toss. Oh, crud. Okay, so one more time. Okay, so we gotta hit. We gotta get hit by a Nidoran male right here, and uh, that doesn't look like a physical hit. Okay, that was a physical hit. Okay, so that was a uh, kind of anticlimactic right there. So let's go right ahead and finish these guys off. That's right. Oh yes. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, here we go with another headbutt, and say goodbye to Nidoran female. So you can see Tank. Is a very, very, very powerful Pokemon. He's like, oh, please, why wouldn't you let us win? Eh, because I kind of wanted to ruin it to you. I, I kind of want to ruin it for you. 
Okay, so here we have another Snorlax, and uh, I kind of want to catch it, but then again, why do I need two Snorlax for? So, let's see. You know what? Let's do Battle of the Tanks right here. Want to, want to use the Poke Flute? Yes, sir, I do. Alrighty. So, as you can see, I'm trying to wake this guy up, and uh, Snorlax woke up. Eight attack into Grumpy Rage. Okay. Alrighty. Just bring it. So here we have a Snorlax number two right here, and I'm coming out with a tank. And you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go with counter. Oh wow. <laughs> All right. So I guess. Come on, counter. All righty. You got screwed. You got screwed right there because here's the counter attack. Should be super effective, right? And oh wow. Fell asleep right there. It's going to wake up in just a little bit since it does have a chest berry, so it shouldn't be anything right there. Probably should have used Snatch on it. Okay, so... Nothing. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just start attacking it with Secret Power right here. And, uh, should that paralyze it? It might. I don't even know. And, uh, okay, so... See, as you can see, we're, we're, we're battling here. We're, we're, we're getting a good battle, and, uh... Huh. Screw it, I'm probably gonna have to capture it too. Well, you know, having two Snorlaxes is not that bad. I mean, you'll be the king of the world right here, and crud! Broke free, and it gives me a headbutt, and uh, crud. My tank is getting his ass kicked by his brother, so let's go right ahead and switch him out. That's right. And, uh, well, can't believe that. Okay, so. <sighs> Okay, um, d -d 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 let's go with Acid. Lower its defense just a little bit more. Alright, so there we go, critical hit. Fast asleep. It might use Snore right here, it is an attack, so let's go ahead, Acid. Alrighty. And there we go, its defense fell just a little bit more. Which is always good, it's always great. And uh, let's go again, Acid attack. And, uh, he woke up. Okay, so this is actually... Okay, so now we have to attack quickly before we fall asleep right here. So, let's go with the Stun Spore. Yes, sir, you got paralyzed. Okay. Really doesn't do anything to me. You putting me to sleep doesn't do anything to me. You have nothing. Nothing that can harm me. So, let's go back to the Great Balls right here. You're gonna get some great balls all up in you. There we go. Stay in there. God dang it. Why would you just stay? And yeah, you are trying to snore me to death right here. So let's go again. Another great ball. Hopefully. Come on. Capture this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. We got ourselves another. Another Snorlax. Look at that. Okay. Yes. And uh, yeah, well, I guess I'm gonna have to. A new you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. I'm, I bequeath you the name Sir Tank. That's right. You are now named Sir Tank. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we got two. We got two uh, Snorlaxes right here. Let's go ahead and check. Uh, check what are the differences between these two guys. So, as you can see, here's Tank, the one that we caught near Celadon City. Its attack is at 75, defense 52, special attack 56, special defense is at 75, and its speed is at 27. Obviously, in off screen, I did switch two of its moves right here, so it doesn't have its regular move set right here. Its ability is immunity. Now, this guy right here does have immunity, but it's a little bit stronger than the tank that we have. Actually, it has more HP than, than tank right here. Its attack is at 79. Special defense is a little lower, but its defense, everything else, it's yeah. Looks like it looks like uh, Sir Tank here compensates with all of its attack, while Sir Tank or Tank Tank is a little bit even now. It's on every aspect, so it's a very very hard choice on how to use Pokemon right here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so just looking in the mirror. So don't know who I'm gonna be using. But I'm glad that I have both. Um, so now, the last thing that I want to do before we leave is I want to go right here. Now we we've we've had the old rod for quite some time. I don't know why they would actually put the super rod first before the good rod. But if you come in here, 
you're going to be able to talk to this guy. And he's like, I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes, sir, I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. And we get ourselves the super rod, which is a step higher from the good rod right here. So now we are enabled to actually capture better Pokemon. Better Pokemon than, uh, than you know, Hydra and all that stuff. And believe it or not, you can actually get a Gyarados right here. Like, you can actually fish for a Gyarados around this area right here, guys. So we're going to stop right here. In our next adventure, we're going to... We're gonna go down to the cycling road, and we're gonna go down to Fuchsia City, and just just to do a few things here and there. I still want to level up my Pokemon before we get into our fourth gym battle. I know, I know, level 30 limit, but it's okay, guys. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. See you guys. Mm -hmm.